Hey everybody, a bit of a different one for you today. What I wanted to cover, a little bit vain, but hair and helmets. So basically, I looked when I was growing my hair on videos that were out there and how to keep your hair under a helmet. So, you know, if you're a guy and you're growing your hair out, then you're gonna get bad helmet hair when the helmet is on. Um, when your hair gets longer to the point where you can actually put it in a ponytail, that then presents another different set of issues as well. Um, so this is, I looked online, I couldn't really find much, so this is my sort of trial and error. Um, first massive tip, when your hair is long and you get a Britney moment and you wanna cut it off, take it back to John Wick length, live with it for a month, and then decide before you chop it off like I did, and then regret it, and then spend the next year to two years growing it back again. So first tip there. Now, I'm also gonna try and tag in another YouTuber, Twizzy, um, who also has been doing some really great stuff with his channel, it's really good to watch. Um, young, cool guy, you know, um, you wanna check him out. It's just nice, uh, the videos he's doing and the effort he's putting into the production, but he has hair shoulder length. So my hair was actually a little bit higher up. His is actually shoulder length, so it'd be good to get his interpretation on what he does. So check out his channel, because I'm sure he'll be doing a video on that soon. So where to start? Okay, at the moment, my hair is mid-length. Um, so you can sort of see it's sort of down to my nose. Um, so the problem with hair at this length is the helmet is, well, I'll show you straight away. I'm gonna use the Rurok. Now I'm only gonna show you this once because anyone who's got a Model 1 will know it's a brilliant helmet, my go-to summer helmet, but not for putting on and off continuously for a YouTube video. But because it's a small, tight helmet, you can see there's my hair. I've just put it on, there's nothing I can do about it. There's no way of keeping it back. It is really, you know, difficult. So you can really see here, the hair's in the way, you're having to push it to one side. When your hair is longer, then that is actually gonna pull down and actually hurt a little. So, how do you get about your hair being pulled down? How do you basically keep your hair back like that in your helmet? When your hair's longer and you can tie it into a ponytail, then that's one option. Um, if you can get the helmet on without it moving, then you tie it back and then you could also use a neck roll to tuck it in. One thing is if your, helm, if your hair is out of the helmet and it rains and gets wet and then you're driving along at 70 miles an hour and blow drying it dry, Jesus Christ, I've never experienced tangling like it. Um, I thought I'd have to cut my hair off. I went to my missus and she had to give me some special shampoo serum stuff to put in it to get all the knots out. So do not have your hair out of the helmet um, when it's wet. You wanna be wrapping it in something or put it underneath a neck roll. So how can we get around um, the helmet hair and comfortability? First thing you want, I would say, is a balaclava. I had a brilliant balaclava, lovely silk number. I've lost it. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show a cotton one. This cotton one is rubbish. It has a seam going down the middle here that pushes against my face and it has seams all the way around here that also push against my face. It is not comfortable. But if you get a nice soft silk or membrane one, that would be lovely. When you've also got a baraclava, the good thing is it gives you protection on the wind to an extent. You can wear it ninja style, so you have it about here. Or you can also pull it down and just, you know, look like a monk um, or a nun. But, more comfortable Rafa. HAC Rafa uh, 70. It is the Volvo of helmets. Boring as hell, but does the job in all weather, all year round. But when the sun comes out, damn, that's a cool lid. Right, so, Rafa and your balaclava. As soon as you put the balaclava on, it is up here, it's not moving around, but the bit on your nose on this particular one has, but it's easy to grab and pull up and adjust. So, see that's over my nose, or you can grab it from below and pull it down so it is under your mouth, really comfortable. My hair is back, it's not being tugged, pulled or anything like that. So it is 
really good. Balaclava is what you want. Winter, you can get winter versions, you get lighter ones for summer. There is also skull caps. Now, this you would think would be the summer option. You put the skull cap on, pull it back, put it over your ears, and it sits down. So basically, same as a balaclava. But I just don't like it. It feels a bit tight, feels a bit, you know, I don't know if it's the one I got, but for me, it's okay. But it makes my head a bit warm. Um, pushing down a bit, a bit hard to adjust if you didn't get it right, but it's okay. It's, a, it's an option. And when I pulled it off there, it pulled off in there, but not that that really matters. Um, the next thing is what you definitely want anyway, is a neck tube. So on the neck tube, you have multiple options. First thing is pull it down underneath your jacket. It's just there, keep your neck warm. Great. Another thing, you can pull it up. If you're not concerned about your hair, you can have it just balaclava style. Um, sorry, you can have it, yeah. Not balaclava style, bandit style. You can make this into a balaclava by there pinching it up and pulling it over. But how I use it is pull it all the way up and stop there. And there you go. So you kind of got the skull cap hat thing, but it fits over. This particular neck roll, really comfy, really nice. Um, stops your sweat, keeps your helmet nice and clean anyway. If your hair is longer, you can see it's gonna capture your hair a bit better in there. Pull it down, really easy to get on, no issues at all. So the neck roll for me is definitely the favorite. Oh, another thing you can do with a neck roll, which I didn't show you, is put your neck roll on, pull it up and back. So what this is doing is sweeping your hair backwards. Then put your helmet on. And then you can actually grab, pull it out. And now what that's done is, as I said at the start of the video, it's actually pulled your hair all the way back. So now it is nice and in the lining, out of the way, not causing an issue. And you don't have to have that. But to be fair, I like to keep it on because it will stop sweat getting through into your helmet um, and makes life a lot easier. So hope that was useful for you guys. Like I say, a little bit different, a little bit vain, but there wasn't much information out there when I was looking at what to do and how to, you know, make riding a bit more comfortable. Um, so yeah, um, give us a like and a subscribe and um, thanks.